Entry to those parks is free all of this month. So, as promised earlier, we are now going to cross to our sister radio station here at the SABC Metro FM. And that's where Catherine Kelly Lang, known to most of us as Brooke Logan from The Bold and the Beautiful, she's of course in the country and she's visiting us this morning. So, uh, she will be chatting to Leanne and a DJ Fresh. So, uh, let's cross over to them and join in that conversation. Good morning, so Mizi, Catherine, Trish, Leanne, all of you. Good morning. Okay. But I'm not giving a CV because yes. I don't need to say anything other exactly. than Brooke Logan is here. Brooke, um, I mean, does, has anyone since you've arrived in South Africa actually called you Catherine? Yes. Have they? Actually, and it's very nice because okay. some people were calling me Brooke and then they turned, other people would come up and say, I know the name's Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly. Thank you. Or Catherine. Some people call me Catherine or Kelly because on social media, everybody kind of knows that I, I go by Kelly and um, they also have a chance to see who I am as a person besides Brooke. So mm -hmm. that's kind of... It's nice. got to be a little bit confusing. So what we're doing yeah. at the moment is, is, is also a little bit confusing. We've got radio meets television. So we've got... Uh, yeah. Our morning live cameras never here in studio. Uh, we've gate crashed the Metro FM. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 just welcome. bring them all yeah. in. Let's we just bring do them all in. We're doing it all at the same time, and this is this is a, a fantastic opportunity to get up close and personal with you. I mean, your home is television. That's where we've seen you grow for all these years. Right. I mean, it's just insane to think about what you have done for our lives in all mm -hmm. this time. Have you come to South Africa before? A long time ago. I came, I think, when the show started. It was about two years young. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and uh, Ron Moss and I came to judge the Miss World yes. beauty pageant. Mm -hmm. I think there was Naomi Campbell was another one of the judges and uh, Bruce Weber. I mean, this was way back, you know, when those people were huge. They were in the spotlight at that time. <clears throat> and had a great time doing the judging. And But it was I only saw Sun City. Mm -hmm. and it was such a strange uh, place to me because it was kind of a place in the middle of nowhere. And yeah. I wanted to get out and see Africa and South Africa and everything, and, and we couldn't. We just saw Sun City, and inside it, it was kind of like Las Vegas. It was grand. Yeah. I mean, it was amazing, but uh, it was. Uh, it was I'm great. asking for a friend. Um, uh, Ron's cheeks, cheekbones, and jaw are those real? <laughs> yes. He looked like has looked like that forever. From when he was always born. had. The, yeah, he always had that amazing jaw, the amazing face. Yeah. The structure of his face. Let's go back to your first ever scene, your first line you delivered. Do you remember that? Because this is where the madness started. Okay, I remember, I don't remember the first line, but I remember my first, the very first time you see me is when I'm bursting into the door at yes. home, <gasps> all just frantic and like my clothes are torn apart and I have scratches and my hair is askew and it was because I was being, uh, these guys almost abducted me and pulled me into their van to kind yeah. of take me away but um, I got away and uh, my brother helped me but so it was like she was, you know, it was very dramatic from the very beginning. Yes. I wish I remember my first line, that's a good question, I'll have to, I'll have to look that up. <laughs> Um, I'm never speechless, <laughs> but it's okay, it's allowed. <laughs> I have watched you forever. Your hair is even wow. grayed yeah, over forever, For over 25 years, I think since 1991. Wow. But I wanted to ask you two, two questions. Your technique. Uh, one, in because you've kissed so many men. Brooke has kissed so many men. What is your technique? Two, what is your technique in memorizing lines and stuff? Because you've been doing this forever and you have to read and you look like it's flawless and it's easy. Okay, first of all, I'm not the, Brooke is not the only one who has kissed so many men. You know, because I remember Why are you so defensive? <laughs> because, because I have to defend my character because I care about her. Okay. Yeah, you know, mostly Brooke has kissed Rich on and off, on and off, on and off, and for so many years. And then, yeah, she's kissed some other men, like the brother and the father. Yeah. And the, you know, all the relatives. But, you, you know. <laughs> It's because I've been on the show for 31 years, so you know, and that's what the show. So you ran out of men to kiss. <laughs> like bring the sun in. Didn't you get 
get involved with the stepsons as well? Uh, no. Not yet. No. Not yet. Oh, so there's a Oh, wait, no, 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 wait. Didn't. Okay, Thomas. Yes, yeah, sort of. Yeah, Not yeah. really. We, we, kind of, just... cr- we were stranded on an island, and then we ate these magic berries, and we thought we made love, but yeah. we didn't. But we, we, okay, so it, we was just, just, it, it was just in we the dream, but it, did, it didn't happen, but it, it did. It didn't happen. happen. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> that would just be a little too much. <laughs> well, hang on. Oh, the second question was, how do I memorize all those lines? Yes. Oh, well, it takes practice. Mm. I mean, for in the beginning, I would be stressing for hours and hours over the lines. You know, because you finish your full day's work on the, the set, then you go home and you have to study. So it's like mm. being in college. You, mm. It never ends. And then you're getting to bed by 12, and you're waking up at 6 and going to work. But um, now it's easier. You, you learn the, the process. You know your character. You know the storylines. You can kind of ad lib a little bit, and, and uh, it gets easier. It's beautiful. Sure. Now, we, we followed uh, Brooke Logan for, for the longest time, but in your own personal life, are there any events, perhaps, that you feel shaped the woman you are right now? Oh, of course. Yeah. Many of Any worth sharing? Um, there's so many. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't even know where to start. Um, I, I want to think, when you say who shaped your life or what has shaped your life, I think of my mother immediately yeah. because... You took her name she, and not your dad's name. Because I've, my father was still living. I'm not sure I would have done that, but he did pass away when I was 13 years old. Yeah. Um, he had cancer. That's also why I'm involved in the cancer charity. But yeah. um, And then when I started seriously acting when I was 17, mm-hmm. I just thought it would be hard for people to say, Wegeman? Yes. <laughs> you know, you start thinking, what's a good stage name? So I, I thought my, I, I love my mom's name, so I took my full name, which yeah. is Catherine Kelly Lang, and I used the whole name. Mm. So that's what I officially started with when I was doing nighttime and, and movies mm. uh, when I was 17. All right, two questions coming from me now. Um, this Iron Man that you've embarked on, sorry, look at me. I mean, you'd think I know how to speak into a mic. <laughs> All right, so I'm used to having one on my shirt. Uh, so, so, you did the sign man. How was it for you? I mean, it was a. It's not easy to do a, a triathlon. I mean, but it's something that you do all the time. This is something that you sort of. I, have I try to keep it up. I uh, started five years ago. Um, before that, I did endurance racing on my horses, so I understood the endurance aspect of it. I love endurance. I love doing long races because you just feel like you've accomplished something and I love training. I love giving myself a goal and then training for it. So first it was horses and then once I did a sprint triathlon five years ago I fell in love with that and I switched over to doing triathlons and quickly trained up to do a half Ironman because I like the endurance side of it. So I was doing half Ironmans within six months and then I did the full Ironman I think two years after I started. That was hard. That yeah. was just takes up, I mean, that takes up your whole life. You're training at four in the morning, you're training until midnight, you're working all day, you're, I mean, it was and crazy. And it beats it was your hard. body up. Beats your body up. I think yeah. the half Ironman is still doable and okay, yeah. but the full Ironman is, it's, it's an it's insane hard. thing to be able yeah, to do. But hard. well done on you for actually achieving something like that. I think it's huge. Then, then another question that sort of I, I want to know for myself. I mean, you, you get your scripts and, I mean, you've done some bizarre things in oh, yeah. your 31 years <laughs> on The Bold and the Beautiful. But was there ever a moment in the script that you looked at this and you actually said, guys, you can't be serious. I can't I mean, kiss myself. Oh, you can't, yeah, exactly. Yeah, but that's the best. You cannot honestly you're kidding, expect me you to do this. Get, Who came up with you this You want to get crazy scripts. You want to get, you know, crazy storylines. And there's some people, some actors are like, no, I don't want to do that. But that's what it's all about. And that's our job also to, to get the scripts and then make it work. And that's kind of the challenge, you know, sometimes. And I've had kind of a tough time, but I think I did it okay about doing all the mistakes that Brooke was making or, or bad choices, mm-hmm. but still walking the line of people loving me, loving Brooke and hating Brooke. But yeah. still, you're, still they can... So it's a fine line. Yeah, yeah, it's a fine line because yeah. you don't want to be completely a bad character and sure. you don't want to be a goody two shoes either because yeah. that's it's boring. A, so you I just kind of have to walk this. And I can imagine there's a couple of countries that sort of 
not necessarily in favor of your behavior. Well, because definitely some countries have more strict, you yeah. know, um, maybe <coughs> religions or different things like that. So, but also I do believe that people understand that it's a TV show so. and but you've got those characters that... The good thing yeah. is people <laughs> love you here in South Africa and have named their children after you. So that's got to show you. I don't know I what that know. says about South Africans, I'm but I'm so good honored on you. when people come up and say, my name is Brooke. My mom named me after you. <laughs> exactly. When I was exactly. I love it. I 851, this is Metro FM and and Morning Live, we're hanging out with Catherine Kelly Lang. More from her after this. It's ShopRite's low price birthday.